Bourne in, um, North Bentfleet Hall uh, in Essex. Uh, got down here last night about six o'clock. Uh, managed to get four fish out, three um, double figure carp and one little pasty thing. Uh, no one else has got anything. I'm catching all those on the homemade boilies, which is quite incredible really, so I'm chuffed about that. I'm the only person that's caught anything, and um, pretty nice fish, I've got photos of them. Um, and that's it really, I'll go and see how they in a minute. <laughs> Good afternoon, Quick Fingers. Good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> we've come out uh, this weekend uh, in the hope to uh, film Quick Fingers Strikes Back and uh, understand you've actually had a bit of luck, Mitch. I've actually had four fish out now. Yeah, only one was a pasty. Um, three were sort of, you know, 10, 12 pound, didn't weigh them. And I've only just had another run, which I lost. And I lost one last night as well. So you actually had a, you actually had a, you was winding a fish, reeling a fish in last night. We thought you'd crossed lines because one of the other rods took off. Thought it crossed lines, but in fact, actually, it was another fish on there. So there you go, double bonanza. Double bonanza, the like fish frenzy. Like buses, bruv. Like buses. Yeah, that was my longest banking session. Actually, I'd done about five nights, you know, without having um, anything. I've done two forty-eight hour sessions at Chigwell with nothing. I've done. Uh, I've actually done two twenty-four hour sessions down uh, Churchgate and blank and come here and got a fish straight away. And a nice fish down here. They do fight right, they've got big tails. So, very good. Good. There's about eight other anglers on the lake, including myself, the assassin. Um, had a run as soon as we got here last night when we put the bivvy up. Uh, left hand rod went off. Struck into nothing. Uh, half past two this morning. Right hand rod went off. Uh, lovely run, boots on. Came out, uh, <coughs> struck into the fish. Uh, it, it gave two lunges and uh, unfortunately the hook pulled a little bit disappointed. Uh, there's eight other anglers on the lake today or, or, or has been since last night. Uh, no one else has actually had any fish at all whatsoever. Because they uh, haven't been using Assassin's Own. <laughs> Lobster, lobster Thermidor homemade boilies. There we are. Okay. And paste. And paste. Okay. Um, shortly that will be available <laughs> from your local stockist or <coughs> direct by mail order. Okay. It is a real winner. It is a real winner and is really doing the business down here today. We've got a selection of size boilies of different colours. Um, slightly different textures. Um, all with the underlying lobster thermidor flavouring. <laughs> okay viewers, um, blog off, we'll catch up with you later um, and we'll definitely be back this evening with Midnight Carp in Ticks and Tacks. Yeah. Uh, bollocks. <laughs> tips and Tactics. Uh, you can't say that after a few pints. Midnight Carp in Tips and Tactics. <laughs> Laters. Not much happening oh, down here, not much happening at uh, Camp Assassin, nothing happening. No, just going for a quick change of, uh, yeah, another change of tactics. I'm just charging up the blow at the glow in the dark blue coal. Yeah, not managed to uh, get anything at the moment there. Let's have a little, hold that big there a sec. Have a little look at that. Alec likes his. Uh, what we've got there is a cell that's been a cell, 14 mil cell boilie that's been marinating in aminol uh, for some considerable time now. Uh, months, months. Uh, a bit of glow in the dark Enterprise blue plastic corn which I've just charged up with a little torch and uh, a little stick bag full of crushed boilies, uh, sauce boilies. Sell boilies. But it hasn't caught you in that much yet. Well, no, I haven't tried this one, Bill. And this is this is I haven't tried this yet. This is a first. I've tried everything else. <laughs> <laughs>
Pretty much got the place for ourselves down here, Al. Going live action from Quick Fingers. <laughs> oh, where's it going? <laughs> Danny Fairbrass. <laughs> Yeah. They keep getting runs and losing them, I don't even know, I think they might be hired. Do you know what I mean? They've got to be hired. Hang on, I'm coming round. Could it be bubbles? <laughs> Could it be bubbles, the giant ghost car? <laughs> Legend. <laughs> it's probably a pasty. It's never been called. <laughs> it is, it's a pasty. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Okay. There you go, Mitch. Lovely fish. Another one. What's that? Six, I think, now. About that, quick fingers strikes again. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic, lovely fish. In its winter colours, proper lump, probably around about. Look at that lovely towel. Al. Yeah, lovely towel, going yeah. about sort of 11 pound, probably not bothering putting that on the scales. Nah, no, we don't bother with them. No, don't bother with them. Right, let's get it back in. Lovely fish, not a mark on that. not wanting to put his hands in the cold water there, it's freezing again. There you go, another fish in freezing conditions, bruv. Oh, my hands, my hands. <laughs> Must be that assassin's own bait. It's really well, he's definitely done something, because no one else has got anything down here. And that's like, God, no, about 10 runs. I've lost a few, and I've actually landed about six fish now, haven't I? Indeed you have, bruv, indeed you have. Fantastic, fantastic bit of angling, bruv. I'll let you go back in there, get your hands warmed up and uh, finish making that cup of tea. Catch you later. Go on. More live action there from Mitch. Come and swoop in and uh, see if we can get a back lead for you. Be back lead. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. That's what I don't like about them. Things. I've some uh, nice little ones that I've got. 